Gail Kobe, our executive producer, and uh, Pamela Longhammer, our writer, uh, suggested it. They thought it would be a great idea. And at first I thought, oh, gee, that's pretty heavy going. Right. At that time, I was at the rehabilitation center, and I mentioned it to uh, several of the therapists, all of whom were quite marvelous, and some of the patients. And they all reacted with such enthusiasm and was so thrilled at the idea that I changed my viewpoint completely, but completely. I thought, gee, if this helps one person, that would be great. Look, I've lost part of my leg, but I have so much to be thankful for. I didn't lose my whole leg. I didn't lose my life. So please, dear, don't mourn what I've lost. Be grateful that I'm still alive, because I am. Hmm. I'm grateful. Oh, my baby. I love you. Make it through this one. We're gonna help you make it through. Oh, I'm gonna do better than that, honey. Uh, I'm gonna walk again. I hope that there will, uh, it will help people who have had amputations realize that they've just lost a leg, not themselves, and that life goes on, and it's. Still wonderful, and in some ways more wonderful, because you discover resources in yourself, because you have to, and uh, how wonderful so many people can be. Even people you know are wonderful, are even more wonderful. And people you didn't know very well, you find out, are just so rich in, in charity and love and understanding and caring. It's terrific. It, it really is a very moving experience. Okay. One, two, three. I'm up. I'm up. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. How do you feel? Oh, I'm standing up. <laughs> it's wonderful. We've gotten the feeling that what we're doing is successful. What we're trying to present is a positive picture and to be helpful to people, and I think it's succeeding. Excellent. Very good. Looking good, Ma. All right, you got the idea, but look, what? don't don't extend your arms quite so far, only to here. Okay? A little bit? Yeah, right. Okay. okay? All right. Go ahead. Great. Mom, just great. Come on, just, come on, let's go one more time now. Come on. Something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. <laughs> it's so funny. Deja vu. Well, it, it seems like only yesterday, when we were in, in Papa Bauer's living room, and I was doing exactly what you're doing now. I was reaching out to you. You were 11 months old. And I was urging you to take your first tiny, wobbly steps. 